catfish this is what it looks like completely done so I'm just going to garnish it with uh, green onions and then some shallots fried shallots and there is our catfish if you want to know how to cook the um, catfish in clay pot stay tuned uh, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, gan yue in gat hall. So the first step is um, I bought a, a whole catfish from the Vietnamese grocery store. You want to come in closer. So this is, uh, I'm going to prep the catfish to make the broth as well as um, gat hall. So first is you got to wash it. It comes in um, steaks like this. So I put the fish, uh, the salt on the fish and I'm going to rinse it. Uh, with cold water, not warm water. So um, you want to come in, Emily. I'm going to wash it a couple of times. You want to rub and get all the blood out of and all the, the yuckiness out of the skin. That's the way it works when you're touching fish or chicken. So if you can zoom into the fish, Emily. Don't get me. It's the fish. So I'm just going to wash it really good. I want to rinse it out a couple of times. So these guys here, these are the good steak. So I'm going to uh, use this for gat hall and the head and the parts that are not good. I'm going to use it to make the broth for the gat So just wash it really good. I actually already washed it before you start cleaning, so I'm going to turn it off. And the way that my mom does this, she uh, pat dry it, but I'm not going to pat dry it. I'll explain why in a little bit. So come over here. I have a pot right here. Come closer. For the um, this pot is for the uh, to make the broth. So I'm going to use this. This this steak is is better if you use this with for the broth. So I'm going to drop that in. This is part of the head. Drop that into the broth. Come closer. I can see it. Come closer. I want you to put the broth in here. Okay, there you go. I think this is... I don't like this. So I'm going to drop that in. I think I'm going to... For the rest, I think I'm going to use it for the gag hall. For the gag hall, I'm going to uh, cook it in the clay pot. It's my, one of my new favorite um, cook pot that I like to use. So this is a good piece. This is my favorite. So that's going to be mine. I'll share it with you if you're nice to me. It's the other good piece. So I want to find pieces that will fit into the pot here. Yeah, no, I think this is good. And for this, I don't know if I can fit it in here. I want it to fit nicely tucked in here. If it doesn't, then I'll just drop it into the... Maybe like this. Yeah. Okay. Then for this one, I'll drop it into the pot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to marinate this with uh, uh, salt and pepper, uh, fish sauce. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. Marinate this with fish sauce. A little bit of fish sauce. So the reason why I'm not um, pat drying like my mo mom did is that I'm just gonna cook it like this because it's already wet and um, it has enough liquid in here already. So I'm just gonna cook it like this. Where my mom, she would pat dry it. She put, she marinate it in fish sauce. She'll let it sit, and then she'll add in water. So this is something new. Hopefully, it'll, it'll taste just as good as the gakha from Bao Mai. But um, I'm thinking that I don't need to pat dry it. And we'll cook it like this. Hopefully, there's enough liquid in here. But we'll see. So uh, I'm gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes, and then. Um, once the hot pot, uh, the gun crew is ready, we can go ahead and start cooking this and this will be our lunch.
Francine. I'm going to continue to show you how to uh, make gakol catfish um, cook in the clay pot. So if you want to zoom in to the catfish. Um, I marinated earlier with um, um, fish sauce and um, salt and pepper. So I'm going to have, I don't know if you see the heat, but it's cooking in a very low heat because um, you don't want it in a high heat. It's going to get burned in the bottom and I burned the clay pot from um, Aunt Allie's house. She doesn't know that, but I'll replace it next time I come back to her house. <laughs> so while the catfish is cooking, I'm gonna make a caramelized sauce to go with it. Oh my goodness, I'm about to sneeze. Hopefully I won't sneeze. But I'm using this kind of sugar to make the caramelized uh, sauce. So I have a little bit of water in this uh, pan already, sauce pan. What kind of sugar is this? I don't know what kind of sugar is this. Like it's not fine brown sugar, but it is um, brown sugar. It's it comes in one of those organic bags, so it's brown sugar, but it's not those fine brown sugar. So I'm adding um, what is that? Three tablespoons. So I think I want four tablespoons of water, and I want this to um, sugar uh, to brown up really nicely. And this is one of the things that when you're cooking, you can't really leave it and let it set because it's going to burn and smoke up the house. So you got to, and I'm using a chopstick, a disposable chopstick because they get, tend to get stick to it. And I don't okay, so the sauce is coming uh, together nicely. So this is the color that I uh, like it to be. And then I want it to stop cooking, so I'm going to add in a little bit of oil, or maybe a, little, uh, a lot of oil. And then just stir it up. And then I'm going to add in uh, shallots, shallots, garlic, and um, chili, two chili. I'm going to smooth that around. Smells good, huh? Combination of sugar, chili, garlic, and shallots. This smells home to me. It smells like my mom's house. Who needs to wear perfume when you have this aroma around the house, right? Sure. <laughs> okay, I want the heat to be low. Alrighty, so I think I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm gonna open up the catfish. The fish is, is cooking nicely, so I'm gonna turn off the heat here, and I'm gonna pour this sauce over the catfish. So you have to add a little bit of um, oil in there for the liquid for this sauce to come off of the pan, otherwise it'll get sticky and it won't come off of the pan. So, we'll be right back. So now, um, I'm not very happy with that color yet, so I'm gonna add in this right here, this dark soy sauce, because I want it to be a little bit darker. I like my fish to be a little bit darker. Yeah, oops. That's probably a tablespoon, yeah? So I'm going to attempt to move the fish around here. Okay, flip it. Like that. Flip this carefully without splattering all over myself and you. Okay, there you go. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to take that out. So there's our um, gakol tho, or I call it gakol thu, because um, there's a bunch of um, pepper in there. So I'm filled with filling. It's making a lot of noise. So I'm going to let that sit for a simmer for 20 minutes, and it will be done and ready for lunch. And if you want to come over over here, this is our broth for the Kanjua Thailand 
so it simmer up nicely. What I have add in here, I, um, in addition to the fish, I add ginger and pineapple. Pineapple, I'm gonna throw it away. I just want the, the juice from it. To, um, I didn't put any sugar, but hopefully that will make the, uh, the sauce uh, sweet. So um, I'm supposed to have lemongrass on, in here as well, but uh, I thought I bought it, but I asked Emily to look for it and she said, she doesn't know what <laughs> she doesn't know what lemongrass looked like. So now I'm gonna have to go search in the refrigerator to see if I find lemongrass. But uh, the Gantu Thailand needs to have um, lemongrass in it um, to to have that flavor of the tom yum. I'm trying to duplicate the tom yum uh, flavor. I like the Gantu. But um, I also like the, the Thailand uh, gan kyuo, so I'm trying to duplicate that flavor. Um, so we'll see how that's turn out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and season the, uh, the broth for the gan kyuo. I'm using two types of seasoning. Uh, tom yum uh, soup seasoning that I bought from the store. And this is a uh, tamarind uh, soup mix. Um, I don't have fresh ones, so I'm using the store-bought. So what I'm going to do is um, I need this. I'm just going to mix the tamarind mix in here. This is what the, um, if you have fresh tamarind, it's, it'll taste better, but we don't have one, so we're going to use the powder. That. So two type of seasoning, that's why I call it Gang uh, Thailand because this is uh, Tom Yum seasoning. It's typically um, uh, used in uh, Thai cuisine. So I love this seasoning. The first time I had this was in uh, South Lake, uh, Texas. I was with you in uh, Emily and we went to a Thai restaurant i think i took you guys there yeah yeah we went there yeah. with zane and kyle it was yeah. really yummy and then i uh, would order tom yum soup and that was the first time that i had it. i was like oh my god this um um i love the flavor of it um so that is um cooking up nicely so i'll let that simmer up and then in the meantime if you want to zoom in here so with the soup, you can eat it with rice or you can eat it with bung. In Francine, we request that uh, I cook bung. So this is uh, coming uh, uh, coming together nicely. I'm going to uh, get that to the sink and strain out. If you want to zoom into our catfish. Oh, the gak haul looks really good. The gak haul, remember I didn't put any water in because the, the catfish was already uh, moist and then I put in the the um, fish sauce along with the caramelized sauce that I made and look at that. See? It's coming together uh, pretty nicely. So you know, it tastes really good. And Francine tastes it and it tastes pretty good. So I'm gonna strain this out. Oh I need this thing. So just <laughs> strain it out with cold water. You don't have to film this Emily. Unless you want to. Okay. You know I'll how to strain out the, you want to zoom in then? So, yeah. oh, what, okay. this is what I learned from my mom. So, boom, put that soap out of the way. Uh, boom is that you rinse it with cold water to stop the cooking. Uh, once um, the water is nice and cool and you get rid of all the starch, then you would switch it to hot water to keep it warm. So that's a technique that I learned from Bang Wai on how to keep the, the room for, uh, to stay warm and moist. First, rinse it with cold water to get rid of all the starchy uh, uh, water. And then rinse it a couple more times with warm water to keep the room nice and warm. Then you just go like this. Wow, the nude action. The, get rid of all the water, kind of do this, that, 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 that. You're like Gordon Ramsay. Oh, well. That's what he does when he flips the stuff in the pan. 
Um, not Gordon Ramsay, or who, I don't even know who that is. I am Kim Nen. I am Kim Nen. I thought you watch Food Network all the time. Yeah, but I don't pay attention to the name, so. I pay attention to the technique and the food. I steal people technique. This is a technique that I learned from Bai, not from the Food Network or Gordon Ramsay. So, we're good. Very nice. Um, uh, this is king mushroom. I'm going to use this in the, um, the ganpua. Um, so this is how you would cut it for because it's humongous. It's big. So, and I bought this sometime last week. So it's, I, I don't like the top part. So I'm going to throw that away. But also I'm going to have the Napa cabbage. Do you know what these are? Morning glory. No, Morning Glory is Ramun. This is, uh, I couldn't find Ramun today, um, but I found this in the produce at the Vietnamese store. Um, I asked Emily to clean it up and she missed a couple spots. Okay. <laughs> and also we found lemongrass, so I put some lemongrass in the broth that's boiling up nicely. Um, but this is called um, Rao Ho. Oh, what do you call this? Rao Ho is a uh, tuna, uh, vegetable. I don't know what it's called. Ask dad. I don't know what it's called. Maybe he doesn't know either. But um, anyway, it's, it's, um, it's from the parsley family. Um, and I've seen this in Lao um, at a Vietnamese store. So I think that can go into the Kentua Thailand. And then also I have leftover from the Bung Bao Wei that we had the other day. Uh, these are um, banana uh, leaves, so I'm planning to uh, put that on there as garnish. And uh, these are rau om. I don't know what rau om call, but what is rau om call? It's a uh, rau ngo. Rau ngo. Rau ngo. And this is um, this is uh, rau. This is ngo ngo gay. So it's it's it's, it's a Vietnamese. Uh, it's a Vietnamese uh, herbs that I'm gonna garnish with um, in the broth. So the, uh, with the broth, I'm gonna save the fish. Um, these are the fish that I don't like, but I still, I think that your dad will eat it. So we'll make the broth out of it. Uh, Vietnamese people love this because you put fish sauce over it and you can just eat pick out the meat. The fish I want to save and the rest I want to put it in here. I'll pick out the fish later. So I want to take out everything and just leave the broth for you guys and you can just add in your vegetables. So I have some fresh pineapple for you to garnish in your soup. Um, if you wanna. So um, I also have ginger in here and there's our lemongrass that we put in earlier, that fish, so we'll save that. Is there any other chunk of stuff? The pineapple chunk, I wanna take that out. Because it's been simmer in here, and the flavor, it's already been gone. Um, so I don't want you guys to eat that. So our soup is pretty much ready to eat. Dinner or lunch, is it lunch or dinner? Brunch? It's ready. You want to go get your brother? Matthew's watching Harry Potter. Okay, okay Francie, we're done uh, with this uh, filming the soup. You want to